Protesters gathered at Faneuil Hall today, upset that that is the location for a new slavery exhibit. As WBZ's Tiffany Chan shows us tonight, some call it a contradiction because Faneuil Hall was built and supported by a slave owner. A celebration crashed by protesters at historic Faneuil Hall. But you have to understand how painful this name is to so many people. Frustrated, the city would have a slavery exhibit in a building named after Peter Faneuil, a slave owner. We believe that having this exhibit at this place is morally wrong. It is ethically wrong. It is an insult to the to the black community. Reverend Kevin Peterson is leading the fight to change the building's name, and one of his protesters even came face face to face with Boston Mayor Michelle Wu at the ribbon cutting. Mary, is this safe to say you have no interest in reading this building? This is a building that is on the many, many national historic lists. The simple uh, conversation about changing a name, we can have that conversation in the context of the larger uh, work that we have to do as a community. The exhibit making its debut during Juneteenth weekend features the names of hundreds of enslaved Africans and Native Americans with ties right here to Boston. You will also see the story of Jack and Acton, enslaved men who were exceptional potters and created ceramics in the neighborhood of Charlestown. Even showcasing artifacts dating back to the 1800s. If this were a place called Hitler Hall, there would be no Jewish Holocaust exhibit here. This is the moral equivalent. Former Boston State Representative and civil rights activist Byron Rushing says he's not offended by the exhibit's location, explaining that erasing history isn't the answer either. Simply taking a name off of this building doesn't make us know more about the enslavers in Boston. Others argue that Boston's black community and history needs to be respected. We can call it Freedom Hall, we can call it Liberty Hall, call it anything. From Faneuil Hall in Boston, I'm Tiffany Chan, WBZ News.